Hey folks, it's Beard Boy here, and I have a major problem. I have this great armor and tool set, but none of it is enchanted. So in today's episode, we're going to build the best stray skeleton XP farm. To get started on that, we need a lot of materials. So my plan on those said materials is going to be this. Dossite, calcite, and snow blocks, because I kind of want to craft a skeleton on the outside. Dossite can be used on the inside. And to show you guys what I mean by stray skeleton farm, as we head in here, there was spawners in here. So we can make a double spawner, which means this is going to be going away. So... Okay, now with this main layer down, I remember correctly, this should be four in between or five so it is gonna be four so one two three about right there start mining down i want to make sure we have this four by four space so we have one there one two three four so right there four so right here and then one right there so this main spot is gonna be where this is gonna be so I'm just going to make a little bit, I'm going to make a little bit of a box cube shape area to start off with. This way we have it kind of marked down where it is. Okay, with that built up, let me mind you about that level. We are going to be going down three more. With the room filled, we are now just water sourcing it up. And the main goal is to be right here. Have a little bit of a drop down area right down there. Okay, we're down to this part. Now it's time to go 10 blocks down. Okay, that's gonna be 10. We go down one more so we can put some chests down. And we're gonna create ourselves a Are little, you sure little about that? room here. Okay, and now we have a second one. Now that that's built, it is time to show you what I have planned for the underneath. So. Plop. What I'm gonna do basically is have these go out to a certain level so that one stops there, that one stops there, so they'll all fall here. So I'm gonna go down 10 from here because I want them to fall into these. So one, two, three. And now that we're down here, I'm gonna go down one more, mainly so I can start placing these bad boys. So we're gonna make ourselves a little room out of here. We're gonna make it a big cubular shape. And then actually I'm gonna go down one more as well. I want as much room as I can in here. Okay, now that we have the main room done, what I'm gonna do here, where's my hoppers? There we go. Huh, and we're gonna start hoppering it down. So from right here, I want three there, and then we're gonna want, we have three hoppers, three of these bad boys so we can hit them from here, which means we're gonna have to extend these bad boys a little bit. So bam, bam, we can mine these ones here and place those ones there. Yeah, I wanna have as many entities as I can get. So having them here like this is gonna be really convenient. And then right under, we can start placing chests. So like that, bam, bam, bam. If I throw these here. Okay, I'm gonna have to break it for science. Okay, it seems like it's working. Perfect. So we'll grab those out of there. Place that there. So this part should be done. We should be safe from any of those boys. And then if we have any need to expand here what we'll do we'll bring this guy out and then if he needs to be emptied maybe we do we'll be good i think what we'll do is just transfer him from this point so we'll leave these ones here which they should be open good and then we'll have a set here on the walls and we can just fill it up as we need them and then we'll be able to make our way out i think here maybe this way it should work Okay, now I'm just adding the roof to these, and then they're going to be 100% finished. Oh boy, you can hear it. They're already starting to spawn. Oh boy, the main exteriors are finished. Okay, let's head down there and see if this thing's working. Oh. Let's go. Oh, this is great. We have our, our XP farm, and they can attack us. Oh, die. And they keep coming for the most part. And we're getting a source of bones, regular arrows, and slowness arrows, it seems like. Take the torches back. Oh, this is going to come so in handy. Okay, I've made myself a little spawning arrow because area. Mainly because I realized 
they weren't really spawning while we were down there. So I think this is going to be one of those farms where we have to have our own spawning spot. Which, this will be fine. Now I'm going to see how many we can get with like 10 minutes away. A few minutes later. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. Oh, this is looking so well. Oh, there's so many. Just from that alone, so many bones, so many arrows. Oh, we have a perfect way to gain experience here now, folks. And some of it's not even making it in. That's the funny part. Oh. Now it's time to go and design the look on the outside. Because I don't want it looking ugly. I want us to know that, yes, this is, in fact, a skeleton farm. So I got a basic shape here. I was going to do the original skeleton head, but I don't have the materials for that. So we're going to do a custom skeleton head from this shape. And I have a really good idea for this. Oh, my God. I like how derpy this mouth is. I love how derpy that is. Now, I think what I'm going to do is shape it to that, because obviously, in like a skeleton jaw, like a human jaw, it ha you have it like this, right? And then it goes up, and it's usually flash. But I'm going to try to do this where it's going more this way, but I'm going to try to have it go more curved in, and have this kind of be like some kind of fabled skeleton of, of some other year. Uh, <laughs> that's the plan. Oh my god, it's so derpy, I love it. Oh my... <laughs> it's so derpy. Derpy, I love it. Like, you have this all detailed, then just these small eyes here. Oh, I think I love it. I think I love how this is turning out. I'm, I'm keeping it. I'm gonna keep it like that. Unintentionally. It, it, it stayed like this. Oh, that's so funny. I love it. I love it. Do we have anything that could be like a pupil? I think we're not gonna do anything else. I think I like it the way it is. I think what I will do is expand a little bit of this out to, ooh, here. Preferably not with them on my back. Bring out the cheap bones a little bit. So that's what, from here, one, two, three, four, so an eight above that. So one, two, three. So it connects a bit better. I, I love that. It's like a derpy dragon. I'm contemplating putting fire in its mouth, but then this is made out of snow. But we might have to keep it that way. This is the funniest thing I have ever seen. And I don't really have anything to put in the back, do I? You know what? These can be used for the background of the eyes. That'll work. I think this one here i'm gonna do one that's a skeleton and the other's gonna be like a statue kind of thing oh that makes it even better <laughs> i love it we have ourselves a skeleton head and he's super derpy and i love him and then this side here i was thinking maybe we make this one a little bit of a tribute to the skeleton's bow so, we're gonna need an example, just so we get this right. So, as you see here from this bow, it kind of goes a little curve there, so like one, two, I'd say three, so four, two, hey, come on, yeah, come on, I think it goes one each diagonally, so, we could have this going... Basically, I want to be able to see it from there, but I think it'll be best to curve it here. But we can have it, like, sunken into the ground, so... I think I really like that. Yes. 
we got this like cool freaking bow here. Now, whatever the heck that was. We're gonna call him Derpy the dragon because he kind of looks like a dragon or a bird. Anyway, I think he's hilarious and we're gonna keep him like this. This is absolutely hilarious. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay, now it's finally time to go and enchant everything. Okay, never mind. We're gonna go mining really quick because apparently I don't have any diamonds. Ah, yes, diamonds. And I'm getting out of here because I don't want to die because I almost died to this lava. I'm just stealing the I'm b b barring I'm barring barring bar bar borrow bar bar. Okay, so apparently I can't speak, but I am just gonna forcefully unintentionally take these. No, yes, no, yes. And how many we get there? 57? Hopefully that's enough for a book, a bookshelf. But I need to go mine down some trees. Oh boy, I'm excited now. Wait, keep forgetting things. All right, bookshelves. There we go, that should be enough. And then the enchanting table. Oh boy, I think we're gonna set it here. I'll take you with me. But I think in here would be kind of cool. You right here, and then just all around. Level 28, so we just need a few more. There we go, level 30. Oh, that's fantastic. We'll start with our pickaxe and fortune three. Oh, a four, efficiency five or four and fortune three. That's really good. We're gonna have to get unbreaking too. So, okay, we'll have to go next. So let's get these, these bad boys off. First thing to go on the chest plate, unbreaking. I'll take it. Thorns and unbreaking three, not the greatest, but it's fine. Protection three, okay. Okay, with more levels. Protection three, what about the boots? Depth Strider, unbreaking three. Okay, what about here? Efficiency, unbreaking is what I want on some of these. Sharpness would be good. Efficiency would be really good too. Okay, I'm gonna go and spend some time in our good old XP spawner because it works way too well. So we're gonna just AFK for like 20 minutes and see what that does for us. One eternity later. I am getting so many bones from this. I think I'm gonna take the efficiency on there. And fortune too, seriously. All right, after a stupid amount of hours trying to enchant and grind, get all the XP I needed. We are fully enchanted up. Protection three on the helmet. Thorn super uh, on breaking three on our chest plate. Protection three on our pants. Protection four, Depth Strider three on our boots. So we have pretty good gear. Not anything world breaking, but it's pretty good. On our sword, we have sharpness four, knockback two. Efficiency two, unbreaking two on our shovel. Efficiency three, fortune two on the axe, and then efficiency four, unbreaking three, and wait, efficiency four, fortune three, and unbreaking three. That is a really good pickaxe, as well as a bow. We have unbreaking three, power three, and flame, which, oh my, that's good. The day had a pretty good, and then over here, I'm liking this area right now. This is great. Okay, let's test out our bow. Oh, yes. Oh. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, yes. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's hardcore episode. We finally are enchanted. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider commenting down below letting me know how you enjoyed today's episode. Consider subscribing because we're on the goal to 1,000 subscribers and your subscription could help with that greatly. And consider liking the video because liking the video lets YouTube know you want to see more of this. I've been Beardboy OG and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.